Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Malaysia and Australia have agreed to cooperate on curbing human trafficking by sea in the region. The foreign ministers of both countries also pledged Monday to improve border security cooperation. The agreement comes ahead of a meeting in Malaysia the same day between Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak and his Australian counterpart Kevin Rudd. Malaysian Foreign Minister Anifa Aman says Malaysia's long coastlines were hard to patrol and made eliminating the human trafficking problem very difficult. He says the two governments will work very closely, both operationally and on a policy front on people smuggling issues. For more updates on the Australian Premier's visit, log on to the star online.tv. Health Minister Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai says the recovery rate of influenza A H1N1 cases in Malaysia is very high despite the rise in flu cases. Liao says that from the 434 confirmed cases, 343 had recovered. Another 91 people are being treated in hospitals. As of today, pada hari ini, 6 Julai 2009, sehingga jam 8 pagi tadi, terdapat 75 kes baru influenza A H1N1 yang telah dilaporkan. Di mana ia terdiri daripada 41 kes import dan 4 dan 34 kes jangkitan tempatan. Ini menjadikan jumlah terkumpul kes influenza A H1N1 di Malaysia telah meningkat uh, kepada 434 kes. He adds that from the 75 new cases reported, 64 involved Malaysians and 11 were foreigners from Indonesia, the Philippines, Libya, Oman, Singapore and Australia. The Mane Urai by-election on July 14 will be a straight fight between the Barisan National and PAS. The Election Commission returning officer Anand Hussein says only one objection was raised. It was, however, set aside after the 60-minute objection period. Only two candidates had filed their papers when nominations closed at 10 a.m. Monday. The Barisan National candidate is 39-year-old Kuala Krai Amno Youth Chief Tuan Aziz Tuan Mat. His opponent is 50-year-old Mohamad Fauzi Abdullah. He is the past treasurer for Kuala Krai and a fish wholesaler by trade. The by-election is being held following the death of five-term past state assemblyman Ismail Yaakob on May 22nd. In the general election last year, Ismail defeated Barisan candidate Zulkifli Omar with a majority of about 1,300 votes. The constituency has slightly over 12,000 voters. It is the seventh by-election to be held since last year's March 8 general election. In other news, Health Minister Datuk Sri Liao Tiong Lai says the government will soon roll out plans to link government health services with those in private health care. He says the move is in line with the government's target of giving outpatient care with, within 30 minutes. L Liao says the government will need to expand teleprimary care or TPC on a larger scale in order to work with the private sector. He says the government had spent nearly 36 million ringgit to roll out TPC since its launch in 2005 to Johor, Perlis, Sarawak, Selangor and Kuala Lumpur. Liao adds that currently 73 government clinics, 10 health office and 4 hospitals nationwide employ TPC. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak says the National Key Results Area KRA, plus the National Key Performance Indicators KPI will be introduced to propel Malaysia to become a high-income first world nation. He adds that the fresh approach is aimed at bringing more success and achievements to the country. I ingin acknowledge semula betapa pentingnya hubungan dan perkongsian ini bukan sahaja sebagai satu statement of fact tetapi hendaklah dihayati dan diperkukuhkan lagi kerana kalau Perkongsian ini merupakan perkongsian yang amat mantap dan serasi. Maka yang akan mendapat faedah ialah rakyat dan negara. He told civil servants this at the Prime Minister's Department monthly gathering Monday. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.